This is a Ruth Stout garden. Ruth Stout was a lady who didn't believe in cultivating and plowing the soil at all. Instead, she just throws hay on top of everything. And she says you can put leaves, mulch, wood chips, weeds, whatever you got. Just keep throwing that mulch over everything. And even newspaper and cardboard. So I've done it. And I'm getting year-round potatoes. I just dig them up when I want them. And um, it's just really productive. There's a potato. I've got them all in there. They're loaded. But I don't spray. I don't fertilize. I just let it grow. And this is taro. Taro is really productive. And it grows here. This is zone 7B. And I got to get these peppers picked. And the strawberries are doing really well. Um, this is an Inca berry plant. Got this from my friend Eric. This is yay, uh, yeah, cone, and that's your cone. It doesn't like the heat too much, but you can grow tea in zone 7B. Here's some tea bushes. See that? They survived the winter. This is their first year. They were just little babies. Yep, zone 7B winter. This tea plant. So, and the best thing to grow, prickly pear. And here's how you keep the deer, the white-tailed deer, out of your garden. They see these things dangling around, they see you walking around in there. And as long as those things are still rattling around and they know they're there, they ain't gonna forget. They get a great memory. Late tonight they'll come back and they'll say, oh, it's still still out there. Not going in there. So I don't have any deer in the garden. And I should because I'm way out here a quarter mile from my house. The only problem I have is every now and then the horses get in somehow. Wow. It's hard to deal with. Um, man, these things are good sized peppers. This is dill. Anyway, the root stout garden. Pretty good.